knife edge. Ah! <laughs> oh! Okay. I got the, <laughs> the lamp. We're good. Oh, that's, I'm, that, that's cool. <laughs> Okay, so continuing on with our little series from uh, air views to build, fly, and learn how to fly decently fixed wing aircraft, uh, we're moving on to our next project, the Viper 70 millimeter EDF. Uh, we're working on some new parts for the V900. We've got the turbo timber flying nice and well. I'll show you some of our previous clips from that. Uh, but now we're gonna do the 70 millimeter EDF. I am so excited for this. I've seen it fly a bunch of times. I've chased it a bunch of times. I've never actually flown one myself, so I am super stoked to get this out of the box built and flown. Although I should be honest, I have taken it out of the box already before, once or twice. Didn't ever assemble it though, just played around. Main wing assembly, tail assembly, body, sick looking bod, cockpit with a guy. <laughs> Guess who's coming out of here? Tail assembly and folded up <laughs> instruction manual. Gosh, that is a rat's nest. There's a lot in there. Look at the intakes on that thing. I knew. Uh, just <laughs> holy crap. Look at the fan back there. Yeah. Hold on, let me get in there on that. That thing is huge. Let's just plug this one in ahead of time. Oh yeah, look at that ESC up there. I, I just realized what you're saying. Yeah. So it's supposed to be six cell, but we'll just put in a four cell to make sure everything beeps up. I'd tell you, but. Hey, okay, thank goodness. All right, so it works. <laughs> All right, model assembly, vertical tail installation. Oh, <laughs> the missed step. There's the step. Horizontal tail assembly. Slap that bad boy on there. Make sure that those plugs are coming through. Two screws. It's, it's nice. Well, that's nice. Kind of like runs down through this. Like it just kind of wedges into that little groove and then comes out underneath. This elevator doesn't matter because it's not differentiating. It's just two servos to do it. Okay, all three of those plugged in. Flip the tail up. Push everything down. Oh. Whoa. Yeah. I like that the control horns are already installed on the tail and on the rudder. So I don't have to do that myself. Tail section in the installed. Feed the Y harness leads from the aileron and flap servos to the retracts through the holes in the bottom of the fuselage as shown. So if we flip it over, there's a hole right there. This is going to be a pain. I'm like trying to feed it through the receiver. Like the receiver is pretty much in the way of those wires going through. So yeah, it definitely looks like this is the plane that's going to stay together once it is together. Yeah. I wouldn't want to have to take this apart a bunch to travel with it or something. But can I just unseat the receiver while I'm like this? It's glued. Like if you look down, you can see that the the plugs on the receiver are covering that hole a little bit. So it's hard to get in there and get these guys pulled through. But you just want to be careful. The receiver is glued down because it is basically like a flight controller. Um, so there are accelerometers in there and you don't want them to rattle or have vibration. And watch your rear control surfaces. You're mangling those a little bit when you're... Just be careful. There you go. 
If you need me to sit down the camera and help, let me know. No, I think I got it. I think this thing would be cool if we did the FPV like you did at flight test with the Hornet. Yeah. That was so hard to get it to balance, though. Yeah. Like, I don't think... I will, I'm thinking about putting it further back or <laughs> like kind of like here yeah and like raise it up a little bit so that you at least see a bunch of it because that's the whole fun with a model like this like I could just put it right in the nose but it's not the same then I can't see the plane and like it's a model it's not just a you know it's not just a wing where you don't really care what it looks like from the pilot's perspective yeah that's looking like a plane All right, now I gotta figure out this whole mess in here it just makes me wonder if I like somehow didn't get everything pushed through or Yeah, like I said, it could be that so they have it set up so you can do ailerons or flap rounds, whatever they call them. Oh no, there's a bind extension, one of these. There's an open gear. So we finally have everything wired up. There was a gear plug kind of hiding down in there. Um, we all we have to do now is put the battery in and go for a flight. I guess we'll I'm going to go ahead and just put the FPV on right away. I know that this was an exercise in learning how to line a sight fly, but how freaking cool would it be to just have the air unit at the back, like kind of just a little bit up high up here, looking down the plane. Um, unfortunately, the uh, air unit only runs up to four cell voltage, and this is a six cell. So I can't get voltage back from the machine or from the plane which is kind of a bummer, um, but maybe I could just like install a little like battery monitor, like a practical one so that the camera like sees the actual voltage. Like, so it's kind of like a heads up display or like put it like down in front of this guy's head or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so we'll, uh, let's figure out a good way to mount this thing. I might even just leave it as is, you know, something like that could work really well. Yeah. That's so ingenious. <laughs> or maybe just turn it around. There you go, yeah. Oh, yeah, do that. That's perfect. I'd probably put it on top of the bubble. So you're far enough forward. I don't want to be so far forward, though. Yeah. I want to see more of the plane, you know? Oh, that like, makes sense. Like, kind of back here, like, just behind this thing. Yeah. I just think you're going to see a lot of canopy and you're not going to be able to see the ground when you're trying to land. I'll take, I'll just land line of sight. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it's got to be that far back for the cool factor. Should I just dual lock it? I think that would be enough. All right. Yeah, I'll go grab some dual lock. So I've got the air unit just built into this little old top plate. I think that's a pretty good solution. And I'm just gonna use a little dual lock. You could even battery strap a battery on the back of that plate, man. I know. That's what I was thinking. And it's right on the cord line, so it shouldn't mess with the weight distribution of the plane. Right. Nothing you can't fix with the battery. And I mean, I'm gonna put a little, tiny little battery, like a little two cell. No, I'm saying like the you can fix the CG with the battery placement inside the plane. Oh yes. So I guess I'll grab a, a battery for that, so that we have the right weight distribution. I'm not, I'm not hating on that. Oh, that's nice. They give you that to put on the battery. Yeah, only one though. Is it just hook and loop? What was that? Is it just hook and loop? Velcro? Uh, yeah. Okay, where's the CG? 80 to 90 millimeters back from the leading edge of the wing root. It is slightly biased to the front. Cool. And then, do you want to mark inside there with the Sharpie as to where the CG point is? or is it uh, It's like, obvious. It's okay. just pushed all the way up to the bulkhead. Sick. All right. 
Let's charge some packs. So a lot of you asked me about this charger in one of my recent videos where I kind of just sneak peek showed it to you. Um, this was uh, built for me <clears throat> by one of our local guys called Gatebreaker, um, and it is freaking awesome. So you've got a full row of switches here that control everything, including each charger. Uh, there's two big old PC fans that are uh, pushing air out, and it's sucking in through these intakes. So it cycles all the air through, to, through it. There's two uh, AC um, uh, power supplies in the back, and then there's also a DC input back there that you can see. Um, and uh, so when I switch this switch to the two, um, it will go to the DC mode. And if I switch it onto one, it powers up. You can see the, uh, there's a voltage indicator here. And then there's also DC out taps um, for everything else. So if I go tink, 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 everything comes on. And it's so satisfying. You can, like, you see the fans will come on and off with this one, but you always want to make sure that's on. Um, and then right here, this is a, a 3 amp double USB power output. So I'm charging my uh, DJI controller and a Insta360 on that. Um, this turns on the uh, the DC voltage input um, if it's not on AC, and then uh, this one turns on the DC output um, for other chargers. So I've got an extra charger plugged in here because on the inside these are ISDT Q6 lights, which do six or like five and a half amps at, for six cell voltage. This can do a little bit more, so I'm just using that for this big battery. Um, but yeah, I love this setup so much because I can just plug everything in, charge it up, got a couple USB ports, keep everything. And I have some extra connectors that I just have live on top of the case, which I then just close everything in there. And it's so perfect. So thanks to Gatebreaker for putting this together for me. I just want to give you guys a chance to check it out, but I am in love with this thing. All right, so Winston's going to check out the goggle view for the first time. Should be cool. Oh, yeah, that works perfect. I need a pair of these stinking things, man. Yeah, that, that'll that be good. And you can still see the ground for landing. Is it nose up right now? Oh, uh, be, yeah. Yeah, you'll be fine. Knife <laughs> <laughs> edge. Ah! <laughs> oh! Okay. I got the, <laughs> the lamp. We're good. No, oh, that's, I'm, that, that's cool. <laughs> All right, it is time for the maiden flight of our little beastie here. I did a little warm-up flight on the turbo timber, just cruising around, making sure that I was confident. And uh, so now we're gonna get this thing rolling and, and uh, hopefully not smash it into the ground. A little bit of a wind, but it's good for takeoff and landing for us. So it's good to help. Um, it's gonna be a little sketchy coming in downwind and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, I'm excited to fly it. Let's do it. Here, push that button back. Chop. Plug it in. Just make sure the radio is on the right profile here. Plug this in first. goggles which are rolling I'm gonna do it line of sight at first and then we'll switch the goggles during the flight let's do it does have a steering on the no it doesn't <laughs> just have to get a little bit of speed as you taxi to get the authority on it and then do you want me to go do a half light handheld and then land and then I'll take off with a uh, drone? How do you want to do that? Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to double check control services. All right. Right roll, left roll, nose down, nose up, right, left. <laughs> Say goodbye, little buddy. Still rolling there. Out uh, here at the front of the car.
flaps that half position. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, ready? Yep. yep. I panicked. It's, it's all, all good. good. <laughs> I'll go full flaps. <laughs> It just didn't seem like it was going to come off, and then it's like as soon as I gave up, it did. <laughs> yeah. Um, it probably wouldn't hurt. You used all the runway you got, you know. I just didn't think I'd need it. So good. You've been spoiled with your timber. It definitely is, uh, it needs a little more speed than the turbo timber did. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, see if you can get the taxi, all right. There's a little bit. It looks so cool. Yeah, it does. Alright. <laughs> ready, ready when you are? <laughs> Alright. Here we go. We got some gear. It's flying way better than the September did. It's fast. It looks, it looks fast. fast. I'm tracking it. Is it less, less affected by the wind? wind? Uh, it seems like it, honestly. That's zero throttle there. Uh, smaller profile, harder to see for sure. <laughs> Ooh, it's sick. And do you want to land before you go up here and I go up, or you want me to just jump up in the air? You go ahead and jump. All right, I'm gonna have the camera on the car look towards you. Uh, okay. Yeah, just try to get it in, pointed in the air a little bit too. All right, I'm gonna sit on the picnic table over here with a GoPro battery under. Battery under. <laughs> this is awesome. Alright, plugging in. <laughs> Alright, actually, I gotta swap batteries real quick. This one's not full, sorry. All good? Throw on a B. Oh my god! Oh, uh, FPV is unreal. <laughs> so, what's your first impression of the. I'm freaking on board this jet right now! <laughs> this is the coolest thing I have ever done at FPV. Just straight out of the box, no question. Like, like, I just see, see the cockpit, cockpit like, like, the world going around me. And, and like, when, when I'm hauling, like, just big speed, it just looks so freaking cool to watch the world go by. Oh, dude! <laughs> <laughs> this thing's cruising. I'm going to set the camera back down. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> Alright, I'm going for unstabilized. Which I'm trying to remember which switch it was. Top right. Yeah, how'd you remember that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Barrel roll, bitch. Or I guess aileron roll. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> Plugging in. Dude, whatever wind there is, it doesn't even matter. Good luck keeping up with me, dog. <laughs> yeah. Slightly worried about that. Oh, I don't even have to stand next to you. Alright. Inverted? Oh, yeah. No issue. 
Alright, I gotta take off gloves for this. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Alright, I'll try to maintain lower speed here. Alright, where are you at? I am uh, at the lake. There you are. Holy shit, that was fast. This you just did a flyby. Oh, dude, I wish you could see this angle. Oh, God. I just saw you. Alright, so I've got my flaps down, I believe. Just cruising. Are the oh, flap shit. Are the flaps down? Yes, they are. Okay. So that whole, the whole first half of that flight, I had half flaps, I forgot. You can actually go faster for me, I'm good. Okay. Go back to half flat. Oh my god, this looks so cool in here. You have to fly this after this. Yeah. We, I, we're probably not kind of proud to be honest. I'll get another one. Oh, you do? Perfect. Try to get a little low pass here on the ground. Catching up, catching up. Let me know whenever you move. I'm gonna bank up left. No issue. Less fish chilling this time. Getting low, getting low. Coming in. Once I get to the end of the field, I'm gonna crank up. Just give me a countdown. Three, two, one. Yep. Nice. I'm way far away from you this flight, but you're fine. Dude, the, the, this is the view that's important here, what I'm seeing right now. Oh yeah, for sure. Dude, I just feel like I'm riding along right now. Gentle left, you got it. Oh, um, speed, 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 speed. Speed? Right, fast. Oh, you good. I, I corrected. I was just coming in hot on your tail. I have enough for at least one, maybe two more passes. That's probably the end of my battery as well at that point. I'm uh, trying to get a little bit closer to you. This is going to be my last pass. It's Dropping already. low. Coming in, I'm gonna swing down on the right of the aircraft. I haven't caught you, you're good. Oh my god, this is so cool. Coming in below you. Alright, I'm gonna start a approach here. Oh god. I'm gonna follow you. Are you turning right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna land it in the grass, I think. Ugh. It's not a great place to land with this wind. Okay, I'm going to line of sight. Yep. I just don't know what its stall characteristics are yet. Are oh, you good? I had to break off. Crank it hard, turn around. Trying to wobble a little bit. That's, that's just me trying to slow it down, figure out where it can slow down to. I'm just gonna land it without gear into the grass. Without, without, without in the grass? Yeah, just right here. I just can't. Yeah, it's just too hard to see with the. Uh, no, you're good. With the with the way the wind is coming, I'd have to basically make an approach through the trees. I need to be further out in the open. Walk out and grab it. That was a nice smooth landing, though. Yeah, it was. Dude, that was absolutely incredible. Oh, it's a little squishy out here. Yes, very. I hope I didn't land in a puddle. I don't think I did, but dude, it just didn't, it didn't care about the wind at all. It just was like, crap! Yeah, no, that thing, especially once you get some speed on it, it's, yeah. <laughs> Plus the surface area on the wings is just much smaller. <laughs> it makes wave. me more even more excited for the uh, A, or the V900. Dude, that thing's gonna be scary. Like, dude, this is not that fast, it seems like, but like, just uh, watching the world go by, Underneath you and seeing the cockpit is just like I'm fucking freaking in a plane right now. No, that's that. I'm sure that, especially with the DJI, like that makes it. Holy crap, that was so fun having the DJI out there. Like I could see like the the glass here or the the plastic, like it just it's reflecting the world around me, and I just feel like I'm like so immersed, like inside the cockpit. Like once I got it up to speed, and I was just kind of cruising a little bit over those houses over there by accident because I didn't realize how like long of a turnaround I needed. Like it was just freaking. Just it, just watching the world go by underneath me in HD, like, oh my gosh, it was so satisfying to just 
just be cruising with it. Like, I want to go flying again. But I'm going to let Winston jump on the sticks and uh, try it out for himself because he's got to see what that was like. It's so fun. Oh, this looks so good. <laughs> All right, so flaps are halfway. And my flaps are down, correct? Your flaps are not half. deployed. They're, yeah, they're half deployed. I can tell okay. that. I'm going to take off with half flaps. You probably want to start turning around there. Oh, and wow, that really cranks. And then come straight down to get speed. And I just crank the speed all the way up. Cool. All right. I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. I'm just rolling. There it goes. Instant. <laughs> yeah. Take flaps off. Gear still deployed. Uh, how about now? Uh, can't see it right now. Yeah, it looks like they're def they're retracted. Thank you. But yeah, just put it in uh, manual mode and just crank on that throttle, and just feel how awesome it is to just be in the air, you know. Yeah, no, it's handling the wind. It can definitely see it, but it it doesn't care too much. Now your landing gear is down right now. Thank you. And now. There it goes. Cool, thank you. And I'm just cruising at like one third half throttle. Yeah. Low pass, well, coming down a little bit. Oh, snap! <laughs> oh, it looks so good. I can't get over it. Oh, that wind, man, holy crap. It doesn't even care though. This is crazy, man. This is nice. It's it flies better than like any wing I've ever flown. A little coordinated turn. You gotta keep that throttle on though. It's happy at like half throttle. Get some speed, do a little barrel action. Oh yeah, it don't <laughs> care. Nice quick rate, too. Yeah, but it's not too fast. This thing is quick, Dude, man. I can't even track it when you come by like that. <laughs> no, I was trying earlier. I just <laughs> Oh, you had this out? Not the long leg, okay. but on 70 mil on the other one. Yeah, give me as low as you can here. Awesome. Watch those trees down there. It has enough power to just pull out, though, you know? Yeah. Oh, it's so epic. All right, I just want to set this down so I can watch it for a bit. Yeah, man. <laughs> this is a lot of sight. Just to see it fly, like, not like one. Like, watching people fly a lot of sight is kind of cool. But, like, the stuff that they do, it just is like, okay, yeah, you can you can tell that it's all line of sight. But, like, when you're flying at FPV, it's like, yeah, buddy! <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm going to start thinking about bringing this thing in. It was not as fast that time. I'm trying to look at your timer here. Uh, I can't see. I can feel it. I know what you're talking about. But, yeah, I would just keep gear up, leave the gear up, and belly land it in the grass in front of us. Are you sure? I mean, what's your, what do you think? I was just going to try and line up on the concrete real quick and right. see how it feels. Somebody just, you can try to line it up if you want. Somebody did just park out there. I see him. Um. Like, there's plenty of room. All right, yeah, I'm just going to belly. Your gear is currently deployed. Pulling up. Still deployed. Okay, it's out. All right, I'm going to turn, I'm just going to turn around and line it up a little bit. Oh. Shit, there's no throttle. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Ah, uh, it lost throttle. Yikes. <laughs> it, well, it, it, you won. <laughs> Until he smashed into the ground over there just now. This is the that was the second battery. Yeah, we had a, we had about we had about five minutes, maybe a little less than five minutes. Um, but yeah, that was that was the first flight with it. We were just trying to figure it all out. All right, I'm gonna go get the pieces. <laughs> Take your camera. I think the thing that I saw pop off was just the DJI unit. It was. It's off when I hit. Yeah, he, it, the battery died and it just kind of. No, I'm turning around to line up the landing, and I'm just like, no throttle, no throttle. I tried turning back towards the grass, and it just, no. 
saw it. I see a chunk of the nose, I think. Oh no. Ooh. Oh man. Yeah. Oh man. That's not too bad. Well, the, I can get the fuselage and the wings. It looks like that's mainly what it is. I'll so fix look, it. I think, yeah, I think we can glue this back together. I'll fix it for you, Paul. Oh, man. Let's see, so the battery's out. That's good. Sort of. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, it's, you know what, honestly? It could be a lot worse. Yeah. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> well, now we know. Three minutes. Stops. What'd you do, Winston? What happened? So, we didn't set a battery timer. Well, we did the first flight. We did the first flight. I guess I drained the battery quicker than expected. It's cold. No, it's, it's cold. It is super cold. Um, long story short, I noticed that there was less of a throttle response, so I went to land up my line or line up my landing. Didn't like it the first time, went around for the second landing attempt, and just no throttle whatsoever. <laughs> Raises your head for a tree, so you had to kind of bail. I tried to bail away from the tree <laughs> in the building and stuff, but nope. It just, right before I got to the ground, I got enough air speed to pull the nose up, but that was it. Ugh. Feels terrible. So you're going to be doing some gluing tonight, yeah? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's about how the day went. The, uh, we did our first couple flight or our first battery. I did the first battery, I should say, and uh, it went great. Like it actually flew amazing. Like it flew better than the turbo timber. It was locked in. Like even with the slight breeze we have, like it just was aero straight. This is the front, probably some of the most fun I've ever had with fixed wing. Actually, easily the most fun I've ever had with fixed wing. And uh, and then I I enjoyed it so much that I wanted Winston to experience it. So I pushed him into into flying it. And uh, we had a little bit of an issue with the battery running out uh, towards the end. Um, um, and uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna have some glue in to do tonight. But honestly, I don't. I think we can put this back together. It's gonna have some dings in it, but like whatever. Um, it's it's the lab. It's but uh, yeah. So I am super stoked about this. Once we get it back together, I'm gonna get it in the air. I'm gonna keep flying it because that was super fun. Uh, thanks for coming along on this adventure with us. Uh, maybe we'll cut in some of the footage of us trying to put it back together, put Humpty Dumpty back together again, um, and stay flying. Alright, so we uh, have been re-gluing everything. We've used like uh, like 18 sticks of hot glue. And uh, we just finally got the landing gear back together, even though we accidentally glued the landing gear over here to the <laughs> <laughs> to the actual wing so it wouldn't deploy and so now we have like a hole all the way through but that's fine um and then we had a problem where the elevator was not working which should be now good to go and then rudder throttle <laughs> that's probably really good for it um <laughs> then the landing gear is also deploying Noisy, but it's working. So I think we're flaps. We should we check flaps. Yep, good to go. So I think we're actually airworthy again, um, even though it was not airworthy for a moment. So yeah, pretty stoked. I think we're gonna take it back out and get another flight in just because it was so ph phenomenal, um, and I want to go fly more. So uh, yeah, let's finish uh, screwing it back together, and we'll go and fly some more. Stay flat. <laughs> uh, I said wax. <laughs> well, you gotta sign it too. You can't just. Oh, sign it, sign it. All right. Yeah, put your signature right there next to that. Oh, well, look at that. <laughs> look at that beautiful plane. <laughs> Alright, so we are over at the high school. We've uh, spent a bunch of time getting it repaired, getting it back together. And uh, so now we're going to give it a little bit more flight. We should have some more fun here. we got obstacles, we got open fields, uh, tennis courts, football field, parking lot. It should be really fun to just cruise around here. So let's get, let's get to going. And we also made sure that we set a timer. Oh yeah, it's now at a three minutes. Ready? Oh yeah, you good. It's definitely leaning. 
She gone. Gear still down. Why? Oh, you saved it. That was really weird. I don't know what happened there, but wait, what? How did it get over there? Whenever you hit the ground, it kept, it took off again and kept going. I put the throttle down. It just cruised up in the air and floated down. Was that? Did it land gently over there? Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, something came off, but it was super yeah. gentle. You were super gentle each time you hit. It just like when I took off, or like when I when I was at the other end, I was starting to turn around to come back towards us while I was I was kind of feeling with the the, the fucking trim. And uh, all of a sudden it just rolled upside down. And then I like cranked up the throttle and pulled up to try to get it. But I think it just, uh, I, think I, I think I probably stalled it out while I was trying to get my flaps back together. So yeah. we'll go find it. I think it's fine. The DJI system definitely popped off of it. Fair. I think those are just the rear canards. Oh, that's a flap. No. Oh, the air unit though. Ooh. That's annoying. All right, let's find this air unit. Me and planes, man. Well, this was supposed to have a happy ending. I know. <laughs> well, I like to say I lived to see another day, but it didn't. Um, yeah. I was coming out this way, I noticed that it needed to be trimmed a little bit, so I started to adjust the trim, and when I realized I was kind of running out of space, I started to bank right to bring it back over um, into the open area, and it just it literally flipped all the way upside down. I don't know why. Um, I just, I out of throttle pulled up, and I barely kissed the ground. The DJI air unit got ejected, and then the plane ended up <laughs> floating into the, the softball field over there where it tore off a little bit of the uh, foam. Um, again, super fixable, but it was kind of annoying to go through all that fixing and have it just break on the first flight. So we'll go back, we'll get it fixed up again, and uh, hopefully we'll have some good weather tomorrow to try it out again. So thanks for coming on this adventure. This is, again, me learning how to fly fixed wing. Not very well. <laughs> Stay flying.